Hello my friends and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Do you remember when uh, those drones, those uh, jet propelled drones that uh, Ukraine used to hit deep, deep, deep inside uh, Russia, about 700 kilometers deep and 400 kilometers and so on. Remember those? Hitting the, I think it was Engels, that's how it was called, Engels from uh, Friedrich, and Friedrich Engels, uh, military airfields, bases, you know, with those uh, nuclear uh, uh, bombers that uh, the Russians had over there stationed, the strategic bombers. You remember those? Okay, now, when that happened, I told in one of my videos, I said that the Russia should get its air defense ready in Moscow. Why? For the obvious reason. According to the Russians, those weapons that the Ukrainians used were uh, built in 1970s. They were upgraded and they could hit targets to up to about 1000 kilometers. Now, from the border with Ukraine to Moscow, it's less than 1,000 kilometers. Got the hint? So I said, that would be stupid if these guys, the Russians, would not uh, beef up their air defense systems around Moscow or main cities. Because I suspect and expect, not suspect, expect the Ukrainians to uh, return uh, the Russians some favors, if you remember uh, Kiev and other things, you know. So, uh, and this is a war. I'm not, again, condoning it, but from uh, uh, reading and, uh, you know, getting information, you kind of know that these kind of things help, They're help, not help, uh, occur, I'm sorry. And they occur, and you can call them, you know, war crimes, you can call them however uh, we might call them and disagree with these kind of actions, but they happen nevertheless. Now, what happened here? It happened that Russia did exactly that. No surprise. So, this article comes, article comes from the New Voice of Ukraine, and it is from today. And today is what? The 21st of January 2023. Time passes so fast. And this is the title. Russia strengthens Moscow's air defense. Hello. <laughs> now, Russia is actively ramping up air defense in and around Moscow due to fears of Ukrainian drone strikes. Bloomberg reported on January 20th. It was about time, don't you think? I mean, you, you stay like this for uh, two months almost. More, I think. Russian authorities deployed air defense systems. The Ukrainians hit it on two occasions. So two different bases on two occasions. So I think that was just uh, target practicing for uh, something uh, bigger. And I think this is what this bigger thing is. So, Russian authorities deployed air defense systems in and around Moscow following several drone attack attacks Russia's central re regions on Russia's central regions. The Kremlin has accused Ukraine of attacks on its military bases, although Kiev is yet to officially claim responsibility. The Russians said that those drones, rockets, uh, flew a very low altitude and had, as I said, jet-propelled engines, so... Pssst, fast. On January 19th, Moscow residents posted photos cranes lifting Pantsir anti-air systems to high-rise rooftops in central Moscow, as well as protective structures installed in the capital's western suburbs near the official residence of Russian dictator Vladimir Putin. He just saves his ass unless the Russians just... That's the... Uh, that's what you gotta, gotta get out of this. And we're gonna be, oh, I, I, you know, I protest. So, similarly, a Pansir unit is clearly visible on the roof of the Russian Defense Ministry building with corresponding photos circulating, circulating in social media. Yeah, let me show you that. Uh, here it is. You see, that's the building, and on top of that, the little black little limousine over there. <laughs> that's what is the Pantsir. Oh, look how clear we get. Oh my God! Woohoo! Surprise, surprise! <laughs> yeah. Okay. And we change things here. 
and keeping uh, our improving uh, march of revenge. <laughs> Bloomberg reported that officials familiar with the situation said the development came after last month's drone attack on military bases in Saratov and Ryazan, about 500 kilometers from Moscow. According to them, the, the new systems would complement existing anti-missile systems around the capital. Yeah, you forgot the ones that were last month, I think, as I said, the angles was, I think, 750 kilometers inside Russian territory. So that's not, not a joke. And first, how could that happen then? For me, it was a failure where they're drunk. What the hell? Or did not expect these guys to hit that deep. I'm, I'm, that's the only thing. But on the other hand, those were military airfields with strategic nuclear bombers. So it was not like a freaking Toyota Corolla or something parked over there. You know what I mean? They were strategic bombers. And you don't have over there a S-300 at least. Maybe they did, but didn't work. Maybe they, hit, they hit, did S-400, but didn't work. Uh, I, I have this suspicion, I started having this suspicion that actually um, all this, uh, you know, my God, look at the Patriot systems. Oh, look at the HIMARS. Oh, look at S-300. Oh, look at S-400. Look at S-500. Look at the Pantheer. They're so... I really uh, started losing faith in what they tell us. I don't think they're, n they're near as good as they say. Obviously, they overemphasize things for sales and sales reasons, selling them and all that. You know, like a uh, you know sales salesperson, they do that. But on the other hand, it's creating false security, and <laughs> that's bad. I mean, you say, "Oh, population, you're good, man. We got the patriot uh, systems here," and bing, 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 boom. What the hell happened? Uh, okay, uh, what is today? <laughs> you know, they change the subject or something. Well, this is, uh, as I said, this comes from the Ukrainian um, media outlet. So um, nothing wrong with that. I'm just saying that it's, it's good for the Russian population that they have those things. And I expected that to happen earlier than right now. Imagine they were, I don't want to say unprotected, because I'm assuming Ki uh, Kiev <laughs> too. But uh, Moscow had some uh, air defense systems in place. Otherwise, I think it's idiotic. But if you look at Moscow, how big it is, you would uh, say, oh my God, okay, how can you defend all of that? On the other hand, you expect those drones or attacks to come from, I guess, uh, east, I'm um, sorry, west, Jesus Christ, west, right, from Kiev's direction. So you place them in a certain kind of strategic, um, uh, bra uh, like walls, you know, so this is, this is Kiev, this is Moscow. Starts from here, you have here one row, here one, and right here. I'm pretty sure they have it. So if this passes the first one, it goes to the second one and may be caught by the third one. You know, we don't have to have all everywhere. But I'm pretty sure they must have known what they were doing, but still. Uh, we'll find out. And I will definitely let you know about it, okay? All right. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth, and be just.